we will talk about the uh, work energy and power. So what is the characteristic of energy? It will do work and it can be stored in different form and in different bodies. It can also be transferred. And the units here, we use Joule. Okay, a capital letter J to mention as the energy. And when we talk about energy in physics, usually we talk about the mechanical energy, which include kinetic energy, which is the energy that's stored in the body during its motion. So if it is at rest, the kinetic energy will be zero. And if it is moving, then there will be the kinetic energy stored in the body. The other one are two potential energy. The first one is the gravitational potential energy, which refers to the energy stored due to its height. So if the object is placed on the ground, then the potential energy will be zero. And if it is raised at a higher position, then it will have potential energy. And the other kind of potential energy is the elastic potential energy. It is stored in the body due to the change of its shape. So for example, if we have a ball, it uh, stays still at the original shape, then the elastic PE will be zero. And when it is extended, the elastic PE will be here. And there are some more of non-mechanical energy. For example, the internal energy. Okay, we have learned about it in heat, which is stored in the material. And the internal energy change when there is a temperature change or there is the state change. So I hope you still remember the internal energy. So when the object change from the lower temperature to higher temperature, its internal energy will increase. And when it's changed from the higher temperature to lower temperature, then the internal energy will decrease in that case. When an object from the solid to liquid state, it will increase the internal energy and in reverse, the internal energy will be decreased. So for the further details, you may refer back to the topic of heat. And also chemical energy is stored in the fuel or battery. And sometimes if we are doing sports, then the energy can also store in the muscle or fat in the human. We also have electrical energy, which enables for the electrical apparatus to do work. So what is work? A work is a process to transfer the energy by applying force through a displacement. So this is the work in physics. So what are the conditions for doing work? There must be an existence of the applied force and also displacement. And also the direction of both are important. The applied force and the displacement should be in parallel direction in order to do work. When the work is done, the body will gain energy in this case. So let's consider the following figures. If we push a block with a force F for a displacement S here, then work is done on the block. The equation is W equals to Fs. The W stands for work done, actually is the energy. And F is the force, and then the S is the displacement.